Hey loves, my name is Latoya Ebony, and in this video we are talking about the essential, foolproof natural hair care kit that will get you through anything. Now we're not talking about hair products, we're talking about those tools that we need to take care of our hair. If you're new to my channel, look around. I have a ton of natural hair care videos to help you grow your hair, maintain healthy, gorgeous, show-stopping hair. Girl, I hope you enjoy. Subscribe, hit your notification bell. So let's jump into this list. Plastic caps or heat caps. Now this is really good for those people who need that heat to really let your products penetrate into your hair shaft. I happen to have low porosity hair, so heat really helps to open up the cuticle of my hair so that I can really get the nutrients from the deep, uh, deep conditioners and the moisturizers and things like that. So I think that most people who are into hair care, they will have a heat cap or a plastic cap to help with that process. Wide tooth comb. If you do use combs, I tend to detangle with my fingers, but when I need a comb, it better be wide tooth. When I was younger, we used a lot of those tail combs to comb our hair because they were relaxed. But if I were ever to touch my hair with a small tooth comb, it wouldn't go through. Like, I mean, you're just talking about breakage central. So you definitely need a wide tooth comb no, you can't, there's no debate. A metal rat tail comb or a tail comb, you definitely need this if you want to part your hair. Now, now I know this is debatable, but for me, like if you want that crisp, that really straight edge, and it really, it's just so good because it really gets to like the root, you really can't feel your roots. If you have dense hair like me, you can't feel your roots, okay? And it's almost impossible to get a straight part. You really need a metal tail comb, a metal one, to get that crisp line, a pick. If you like a nice, full, beautiful afro like I do, you need a pick. There's not, if you wanna lift your roots, and get that volume going, a pick. There's no, there's no comb that can do what a pick does. No, no. A microwave safe cup. And I'm saying this for the people who love to do their like uh, hot oil treatments. So you need this because you're gonna put it in the microwave if you're lazy like me. <laughs> You're gonna put the water in the microwave and then you're gonna dip your hot oil treatments that are in their own container or in a Ziploc bag. And you're gonna put that right inside that cup to heat up your hot oil treatments or your deep conditioners. Ziploc bags. I am a fan of Ziploc bags. I need them in my house. I use them for my food, but I also use them for my hair care products. So when it comes to like organizing accessories, when I'm traveling and I need something to keep my bobby pins in, when I wanna do my deep conditioners, but I'm too lazy to get under the dryer and I want it to be warm, I will put my deep conditioner in a Ziploc bag. I will use that microwave safe cup and some water and I will heat it up that way and then put my plastic cap on. That is the cheap and lazy way to do it. <laughs> So I need Ziploc bags. An old toothbrush or a hair edge brush. If you're the kind of person who likes those edges to be laid, there's nothing that does it better than like a toothbrush or one of those like really small natural bristle like hair brushes so you can get those edges, yes. That's all I can use. I can't use a comb, I can't use, I can't use anything. I need to have that. And that's the only thing that works. Now, I do have type 4B, 4C hair, so my edges don't really stay down, but when I wanna do that extra effort, that is what I need. My camera keeps cutting off. Um, if, if I have not mentioned something in this list that you think is an essential, make sure you comment down below. Ouchless hair ties. Like, you can't have a hair tie that has metal on it. You're just, honestly, you're asking for breakage. So you need hair ties that don't have any metal on them. They need to be ouchless. I use the scrunchie brand, or the goodie brand, one of them. A sit under dryer. Now, I know everybody doesn't have it. I don't have a sit under dryer, but if you can get one, I hate being under the dryer. But the girls who are have the luxury of having them, their hair be flourishing, flourishing. <laughs> I don't have the patience, so I do like my little lazy hacks, but if you have a sit under dryer, I think you should use it. A humidifier is 
queen, you guys. I have one. I only use it when my hair really needs it. I live in a dry area, so there are days where I really, really need it. Like I said, I'm lazy, but that humidifier, it just infuses like heat and water into your hair way better than a, a, a sit under dryer, in my opinion. It's so, so, so good. If you can get a humidifier, like um, the one that I have is by Beautiful. Now they don't even, last I checked, they don't even have them in stock anymore. I don't know what happened to the company, but I, mine still works. I've had it for years. I I 100% recommend it. I'll try and see if anybody's selling them. You need an old t-shirt. Now this one's super cheap. I mean, everyone has an old t-shirt laying around. The reason being is that when you want to go and dry your hair, you don't wanna you know, use towels because it can really create friction, frizz, lift the cuticle of your hair. Like it can be a little bit more damaging. Now I do use a towel most of the time, but if you have an old t-shirt and you're not, you know, I hate getting, I hate getting clothes dirty <laughs> for my hair. But I do recommend using an old t-shirt if you can to help dry your hair. Now these last three, I'm just gonna group all together. You need a satin scarf, you need a satin pillowcase, and you need a satin bonnet, yes. These three, they're kind of in their own category. Like you can do one without the other, but I do find that all three together is the most effective. Now, the satin pillowcase is the only thing that I don't have, but you know, when you do an updo, right? If you have just a satin scarf, a lot of times, like your your updo is, is, is out. You either need like a really big scarf or you need a bonnet to put on top of that. And then just in case everything starts sliding up, if you have a satin pillowcase, you're good. You're good. Spray bottles. I cannot believe I forgot to say this. You guys, this is so essential for adding moisture back into your hair throughout the week in between washes because you need that H2O. So that is my survival kit for natural hair. All the essential items that you need. If you're interested in more hair care videos, I have a ton. I have a big playlist of hair videos. I have hair regimen videos. I have all of those. So again, subscribe and I will see you guys in a couple days.